So here is uh, we are inside the Android Studio. Uh, let's go to the layout first and check out what is what is happening in layout. Uh, inside the layout, we have used a widget expandable list view. Uh, the width is uh, and height is both match parent. We gave an ID to it. And then after that, uh, this this was residing inside a relative layout. After that, uh, let's go to our uh, main activity and see what is happening there. And after that, we'll, we might again come back to these two items, right? Uh, here's an expandable list adapter. Uh, it's a class that uh, we have created and we have created in, uh, we have created a reference of it here. Uh, this is the class present here. And then expandable list view is another thing that we have created, reference of it. Uh, let us not uh, dwell over these too much right now. Let's straight away go to the uh, the on create method. So inside the on create method, you can see that uh, expandable list view. The object is getting created, and I am using the ID of LVEXP. LVEXP is nothing but uh, the ID of this expandable list view. Here uh, we are calling a method init data here. And then uh, this init data is, uh, we'll discuss init data later, but before that, let's look at the list adapter for which uh, the object has been created. We provide it two input arguments. The first one is the context. The second one is list data header that is here and list hash, right? So these two are being used to provide the data and uh, expandable list view dot set adapter, right? So if you actually have worked with adapters, uh, you will understand that this is basically, uh, that's how typically an adapter is set, right? Uh, now let's discuss the init data. The init data is nothing but, uh, it's taking the responsibility to provide all the data that has to be shown in the expandable list view. List data head data header is, uh, is basically a list uh, with string type. And we are creating an array list here and then there's another list hash map that we have created here. List data header uh, we call add here so that uh, we can call, uh, we can basically display the four main items uh, in the headings. If you remember, these are the four items that were shown in the headings. And then uh, we're calling, we're making another list here, which is uh, O, the name is O. And this, uh, we are adding, this is expandable list view for donut. and uh, we have created such four such lists O, T, P, H and F, right? So these are basically four lists that are getting created to be part of the uh, the sub menus uh, or uh, you know the expandable part of every list item in the expandable list view, right? So that's what uh, is happening here. And then uh, at the end we have a hash map which is basically uh, putting the list data header dot get zero so we are fetching the data header location zero and giving supplying it the object o here and then t and then th and then f right so that's how uh, this stuff is working here let me take you to expandable list adapter now this is again a typical adapter that is taking responsibility for all the data that is to be showcased uh, it basically extends base expandable list adapter and uh, uh, it works with the, the you know uh, the context and list string and the hash maps uh, I'm assuming that you've already worked on a couple of you know list adapters uh, if you haven't then you can watch one of the videos in the same uh, channel uh, wherein we are talking about list adapter you must understand list adapters or you know array adapters before you get into such complicated adapters so uh, what is really happening here is that we are basically finding out uh, like in any you know uh, adapter the way it works uh, we are finding out the group count what is the size uh, because everything is going to happen dynamically here right so for different uh, groups the sizes will be different for uh, different groups the children count will be different right so every uh, not it's not necessary that every heading like we have four headings here so it's not necessary that all all the four headings will have the same number of children with them right so that's what we are doing here and uh, uh, we are creating a view uh, we are we are using a method get group view so every view is being used through uh, is is being generated through this method get group view and we have uh, in case the view is null then we are inflating it using a layout inflator and uh, we are also providing the layout here list group so list group is uh, uh, something which we have to look at look into uh, from here 
so here uh, there's a simple text view that uh, is being used here right so that's how uh, that's where the list group is being used the layout is being used here and then uh, we are setting the text here set text header title right so a header title is something which we fetched from here string get group i right and uh, get child view is also working like that so this is what uh, this is this is the part which takes care of the headers being shown in the in the final app and this is the part which takes care of individual children that belong to that parent right uh, and that's why we have list item here uh, if i were to take you into list item then you can see it. it's again a simple text view that is there and uh, this is expandable list preferred child padding left so you might want to in fact you should uh, put padding left here uh, let me show you using a diagram why is it required so here is a rough representation of what you were seeing in the app demo uh, if you remember there were four list items and this is the unexpandable view and whenever you would click on one of the items let us say this is one row this line is representing one row then you would have three child uh, you know opening up here so uh, all these children were in one line this is rough so pardon me for this uh, but uh, please understand that if i if i do not put le adding left then these three children will get aligned to this this line and they will actually you know move to a lot to left and they will stick to this these these line this line and which will actually ruin the entire you know look and feel of the app and you don't want to do that and that's why uh, you need to put the uh, add ATTR expandable list preferred child padding left right uh, after that uh, there is this uh, again like we what we were discussing uh, there is is child selectable we are marking it as true now let me see you know how can you how can you make sure that all of these items are uh, actually you know clickable so how do you make sure of that let's see what needs to be done for that so if you want to add uh, on item click listener on uh, these expandable views then you can do this what I've tried here and it works uh, what I've done is I've put set on group click listener and set on child click listener so these two items give you you know uh, the freedom to start uh, detecting clicks on the group and whenever the app runs the group uh, items whenever the headings that are there in the list view will whenever they are clicked uh, the post message is shown showing here and for children we have this uh, this listener and this will show you uh, the a post which will tell you which child of which group has been clicked right and uh, it's a it's a basic principle of any android development that you know if you're able to generate a toast that means you're able to uh, you know you, you you understand the execution or uh, you have been able to bring execution this place right so that's how you can handle the expandable list view uh, do let me know if you have any doubts please subscribe to the channel for more such videos take care bye bye